This project is probably the most complicated construction happening in New York right now. This is not something that's routine. We got 34 lifting posts here, yeah. right? Yep. Oh, 136 jacks. Yep. An amazing, amazing set of circumstances. It's one of the most complicated jobs that I've been on in my career. From the demolition to the excavation, to the superstructure, all the way up to the top. You have this historic theater box that's being painstakingly restored next to LED operable doors. It's an amazing juxtaposition. It's the coolest thing I will ever work on in my entire life. This is a purpose-built building. This building was built for the purpose that it's going to be used. Most of the other buildings in Times Square were not built for that purpose. To me, the most fascinating thing about New York is it's this 13-mile little piece of rock where from the 1600s onward has always kind of been this hotbed of culture, different ethnicities. And I think anytime you bring a lot of people together, specifically in the middle of two rivers, you need to entertain them. Broadway became this iconic interest of why people came to Times Square. And that existed all the way through every period of Times Square, whether it was the heyday of peep shows, whether it was sort of the mollification that took place in the 90s, the other thing that's always been there consistently is signage. So I think anyone else who walks these streets of Times Square sees billboards, you see big commercial, big brands. But for me, I see all kind of the nooks and crannies, the old stuff that's left amid all of the new. And the TSX building to me does a very similar thing with the old palace, this old historic thing built in this kind of glorious commercial entity. And that is the history of Times Square. TSX Broadway, it's a multi-use redevelopment of an existing tower in Times Square that was built in the late 80s over a landmarked Broadway theater, which was built in the early 1900s. It is a highly complex, highly coordinated project. We demolish 75% of the building and retain 25% of the building. But the retaining 25% of the building is a big problem because it's the old building, it's the wrong building, it's in the way. What do you do? You know, maintaining 25% of a building is incredibly difficult. It involves tremendous amounts of temporary structure to hold up the pieces you're keeping while you remove the rest of it. You have to find a way to not disturb the structure that is existing while tunneling and, and boring underneath and, and removing all the rock and bedrock underneath. When the rock was soft enough to be chopped, we chopped it conventionally with hoe rims. Uh, but when it got really hard, we used hydraulic rock splitters, and then we chopped it into smaller pieces and conveyed it right out of our HOV lane here. So you basically have sections of the building that are like, have become like magic carpets. They have to like figure out how to keep them up there while you're taking out what is holding it up. It's literally, without question, the game of Jenga. Did you lift the theater yet? That's the most common question. Robert, have you lifted the theater yet? So the TSX building to me represents the commercial, glorious heart of Times Square. And then literally underneath it, you have the palace. The Palace Theater is an iconic theater, uh, one of the most famous ones in, in Times Square. The Palace Theater really starts as a vaudeville theater. The palace really began to make its resurgence and come back in 1956 when Judy Garland began playing her shows. If you hadn't performed in the Palace Theater, you hadn't really performed on Broadway. We are literally lifting the theater 30 feet. And in order to do that, first we need to detach it from its existing foundation. We pour a ring beam, which is a six foot thick concrete beam around the entire exterior of the theater directly below it. And the theater sits on that ring beam and we lift that ring beam from caissons in the ground. 14 million pounds, 65,000 square feet of floor space. Unbelievable. New York cares. We care about our history here, and we find quirky ways in how to save it and preserve it. Holy cow! We just lifted a theater 30 feet in the air. Uh, all of you should be proud to be part of this unbelievable engineering feat. Raising the Palace Theater is really part of the centerpiece of this project. 
part of the whole thesis here was by lifting the Broadway theater and unlocking 30 feet below that, we could create a billion dollars worth of retail. This is the greatest canvas for that because I have 56 million people to experiment with. The ultimate programming of what happens inside this space is really going to be up to the tenant. But what we've provided for is flexibility in terms of its technology. The Terrazon is going to be at the top of the podium where the building sets back and it's designed for one of a kind restaurants and venues where you can literally hang out and overlook Times Square. But we're building a new hotel which will have views like no other hotel anywhere. The way we designed the hotel, it's floor to ceiling glass. So the views, of course, are unobstructed, you know, to the ball drop in Times Square. We decided that we really wanted to create the whole building as a signage program. So we actually designed a facade that has LED built into it. So it's up 580 feet in the sky. There are 2,600 some odd of these curtain wall panels. Each panel is specifically numbered and fits in a specific place on the building. This is going to be the best display you've ever seen in Times Square. The fact that TSX is incorporating these ginormous screens that'll cover most of the building, it figures prominently in the history of Times Square, which is a world of billboards. That opening there will be the stage out to Times Square. It will be able to perform out to this corner, to all of Times Square and throughout the world. And as the doors open, those performers will be then projected out onto the street and have an outdoor audience. This is going to be a massive stage with the world's largest operable LED doors that opens up onto Times Square. A game changer. Nobody else in the square has that. I want people to know we built it for them. We built it for their pleasure, their enjoyment, their ability to share and entertain each other and be entertained. That's why we built it for the entire world.